Chicago, for example, the city has released uh, open data for the first time when the Emanuel administration came into power in 2011. They put actual resources behind finding and releasing open data for free to the public. And when they did that, folks like me showed up and started doing things with that data. Uh, about three years ago, I started an event called the Open Gov Hack Night. This is an event that is a place for everyone, anybody's welcome. Uh, we meet every Tuesday, and it's a place for people to build, share, and learn about civic tech. And it started off as just sort of four nerds sitting in a room wanting to find a place to get work done on projects, side projects, volunteer projects that were sort of civic in nature. And now we average 90 to 100 people a week. And we get developers and designers still, but also research advocates, uh, journalists, folks from government. My very first civic app, as we call it, uh, was a website called chicagolobbyists.org that let you see different information about lobbyists in Chicago. So how much money they made, who hired them, uh, hired them to do what, what are their lobbying expertise in. Uh, an application that we worked on, uh, it's actually in its third or fourth winter coming out, is a website called Clear Streets, which takes data from the city of Chicago's snowplow tracker and shows you where the plows went during a given snowstorm. So you could type in your address and see, did my street get plowed? And if so, when did it get plowed? Or how many times, right? And so that's a website that is by far our most popular. Government is sort of releasing this raw material, right, that is not only like helping people make applications that really improve the city, but it's also driving economic development. Um, and some of that's actually feeding back into government themselves. They see the sort of tools that this community is building and they learn from those practices and they adopt some of those projects for their own. So it's really sort of a very powerful space for incubating and prototyping ideas and some of these ideas government is really benefiting from.